Eukaryotes are a prime example of the majesty that evolution has created. Eukaryotes have a nucleus, and it makes all the difference. They allow for more complex DNA storage, compartmentalization of organelles, membrane binding, multicellular life, meiosis, endocytosis, specialization, and more. To make your organism eukaryotic and thrive, you must add a nucleus. But beware! The nucleus requires a large amount of energy to maintain and move around, making homeostasis and moving around a much more difficult endeavor. To combat this, prepare by creating your cell with proteins and organelles for energy production and speed. After obtaining the nucleus, new organelle options are open for use. Many of these are much more efficient than the proteins that were open for use before. The mitochondria are efficient glucose powerhouses, converting glucose into a lot of energy, which can be used for a variety of cell processes. The chloroplast, an organelle typically used in plant cells, can generate glucose from atmospheric CO2 and sunlight. Another organelle used by eukaryotic organisms are chemoplasts, which convert CO2 and hydrogen sulfide into glucose. The nitrogen-fixing plastoid can convert an atmospheric nitrogen into usable ammonia, facilitating cell growth at the cost of ATP. The vacuole is an organelle that allows you to store many more compounds within your cell. Finally, the toxin vacuole allows the cell to store and produce oxytoxin, which can be used to damage membranes of other cells. These organelles, like the prokaryotic organelles, suffer from the drawback that they take up space, making your cell bigger, increasing energy costs, and decreasing speed. This problem is exacerbated with eukaryotic organelles, as these organelles are twice or three times the size of their counterparts. These are the basics of living as a eukaryote. May your organism thrive.